This is an ASUS FX504GM, more specifically the WH51, if you can actually see that right there, with an i5-8300H and a GTX 1060. Now, this laptop is, you should not buy it for one reason. Well, there's multiple reasons, but one of the reasons is the hinge. It has a really bad hinge design, which they fix in the 2020 models, but this is an order like 2018 or 2019 model, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, just don't buy it if you have the option. And it turns out about a year and a half after using this very carefully, because I knew the hinge was fragile, the hinge is starting to break as I would demonstrate right for you. So if you open it up, then go to close, it separates right here. And it is happening on both edges it looks like so it's just a horrible design of a hinge and i wanted to see if i can actually fix it if there's any way to fix it like tightening up some screws or something or is it just the plastic clip so that's what this video is so let's uh let's open this up and see what uh we can see i guess all right so there we just completely shut the thing down i'll be very careful with the hinge let's flip it around take some screws out see if any screws are loose first of all I got my i fix it kit right over here so let's open this thing up Okay, now I think I have all of the screws out. So I got them all neatly organized so I know which ones are where, go where, and that is very important. Now I'm gonna get some pry tools that I have, pry this thing up. I've done it one before, I think I broke one clip last time, but um, it should pop off pretty easily. Man, I fix it makes the greatest tools. My goodness, if you don't have the pro kit, what are you doing? Come on, if you take anything apart, that was so easy. I didn't even have to use like half of my tools, just one tool. That may be because I've opened it up and broken a couple of the clips off, but you know, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, these are the insides. Battery, the double fans here, which are kind of dusty and maybe I should clean those out a little bit. What is this? Are these the clips that broke inside? This is like, red plastic is this interesting so that's what i knew something was rattling inside my laptop but um a lot of you really smart people last time always told me to disconnect the battery first so i'm gonna disconnect the battery even though i'm probably not going to be touching any of the main components here but um might as well do it just for safety because you could much easily fry the components and look at that now you can't because the battery is unplugged i guess you could still technically with static but like so i'm just taking a look at these hinges but i don't actually think it's a hinge mechanism itself it's like the outside plastic right here like this part separates what am i supposed to do is this this is the bad design well obviously it is but like yeah and these clips those clips broke these little tiny pieces of plastic down here broke and that's that was holding the plastic in and on this side it did the exact same thing these little plastic clips are broken i'm just kind of interested if tightening up this bottom screws will do anything i kind of don't think it will oh my goodness no it doesn't that's such a bad come on asus i know they fixed it in the newer models but like like, that's so bad. I think it's time to take like the, this front piece off. I could damage my laptop here. This is probably not recommended. It uses its own, what is this? An insert? It uses its own like little insert. No wonder, this is a pain to take apart. This is, <laughs> will this work after I'm done? I have no idea. Oh, that metal piece is, that is bent. Oh my goodness, is that just me from now? But like, that is the metal, th th that right here, that's the metal piece. That is so bent. I don't even think that was me just now. It's been all broken and snapped right in here from all the times opening and closing it and it finally just started to give way. Oh, I get it. These, these inserts, these tiny little inserts are in the plastic, but plastic and metal, well, the metal is going to slowly tear from the plastic. These screws were stuck back in here. You can see that screw right, I just pulled on it a little bit and it actually popped out because it's stuck in plastic. It's an insert, it's a metal insert into plastic and enough of times doing that and it will just um, pop out of the plastic and then not work. What a dumb design, AC. You could have thought this, that you not test this out like a thousand times opening and closing this because that's exactly what just happened. But now the question is, is can I fix this? I could, I could technically, I guess like super glue these inserts in. If I'd put enough of super glue in there, that no. Yeah, that would work. Just checking back on this side here. Yeah, this is exactly what happened on this side as well. I think I'm gonna get some super glue. Um, ah, nice. Okay, so now I got some super glue. I think I should put the screw and the insert back in. Right back in there, I have to glue that metal piece down to the plastic. And I think that'll fix our issue. And I'm thinking that would fix a lot of people's issue hinge with this laptop. But first, 
I have to get this insert back in. I broke the metal bar that runs up here, so uh, that's kind of really annoying. But if I put enough of super glue in, it should hold. If I just super glue that in there, put enough down in that little thing where the inserts are, it'll hold. Now I'm just gonna simply close this up here on this side. Yeah, see there's no clip at the back, so I'm gonna get a little back here so the dust and debris doesn't come in. No, one of the old plastic clips got in the way. You can see it right down here. Here we go, I got it out of the way. All right, it's not even clipped in. This laptop's resale value is pretty sad. I, th I think I could get it about 500, but I have a feeling I can't. Bought it for 860, I believe, brand new a couple years ago. The specs are kind of old. Um, it can still play Fortnite Apex at like 100 FPS, but like the screen is not very good. It's a little small, the bezels are big, and yeah, it's just, it's got its issues, especially with this hinge that most of these laptops will break. And this side isn't too bad, but then the metal did break, so now it's just as bad. It looks like it's not as bad because it's not bent up as much. Oh no, it doesn't want to clip together. Why? There's clearly something in the way. There's definitely a clip on this side that's not in. Still not really working. And the bad part is, is I just glued it all up. So now it's going to be extremely difficult. I'm going to re-super glue this thing like crazy. I'm going to let it set for like 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back to it. So let's start dumping in this glue. We really absolutely glued the tar out of it. I'm going to let that cure for a while come back my battery's dying anyway so all right so both of the sides let that sit for 30 minutes each well this other side obviously and uh just a quick test i mean it it feels really smooth to break it you're literally gonna have to break the whole piece of plastic it is it is glued out of its mind up in here and um yeah the whole thing it's it's I held it, clamped it, and uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be moving. So I'm gonna put the back on now. Actually, before we do that, gotta connect this battery. I'm gonna flip it over here, give it a little quick startup, see what happens. Lights are turning on. Now the big thing is the screen. That's what I'm actually really curious about. Looks all good to me. Anyway, let's put this back panel on a while. All right, there's the last screw in. Now I would say, here, here's a quick word. I wouldn't recommend putting a lot on the outside. Honestly, it, it takes away uh, a lot of the looks and definitely, you can definitely tell that this has been glued together. I would suggest putting it in the inside, cleaning up that excess. I just didn't want this little back piece right here to bend because the dirt gets in there and gets to the hinge right there, which I guess it can still with that little gap right there. But like, this is just the little thing that I didn't want to happen. Probably don't recommend you do that as um, it doesn't look very nice. So just put it in the inside inside right in the inside of the lid part where that metal piece was with the inserts that had broken off of the plastic kind of same with this side you can see right there now that if we have it one hand oh i can open it one hand again oh wow that is nice so yeah that's a way to fix your fx 504 laptop screen horrible hinge somebody had asked me in a video if there's any way and i said i don't really know i mean you could probably find another laptop get the hinge pop it out put in the two metal brackets again that seems like a lot of work this is just going to happen again no matter how long it just takes a matter of time before it to happen again this way you're kind of like putting a bandage over the issue and re-strengthening the plastic with the inserts so it kind of just stays together because honestly how long are you going to use this laptop only a couple years it's not like it's gonna have to last for 10 years. Maybe it has for you, but I'm gonna get a laptop pretty soon in the next coming years anyway. So this is just a fix. So yeah, that's the way. If you have any questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Be sure to follow me on my socials. And anyway, thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one.